Hi, I'm Andy. I'm one of the LVI keepers at Paint and Zoo. I uh, look after the spider tortoises. We've had these spider tortoises since 2012, um, and up until recently, we've never had any eggs or breeding activity off them, or they've never shown any signs of doing it. So um, I made it um, a point in the last 18 months to try and cycle them properly to um, initiate seasonal changes for them which is generally what this species need to breed. They are quite a tricky species to breed. Over the last two years, 18 months, I've been cycling them a bit better. We've been cooling them more in the winter. Um, it's a period of estivation where they'll um, slow down and not be as active and not eat as much. We don't feed them as much. Um, and then in the summer months, kind of March, end of March, when it starts warming up, you know, in the outside it warms up in the nursery and they become a bit more active. Um, and then we'll initiate some spraying on a daily basis, which again replicates their natural, natural cycles of it being warmer and wetter during that period. Um, we are back to front being in the Northern Hemisphere, but they're used to that now. They've been here long enough that they've kind of switched their, switched their cycle. So yeah, the spraying is a, is, is a really good trigger. They become much more active when they're being sprayed. And it's during this period that mating activity kind of occurs. You know, I've, I've still not actually seen any mating activity. Um, but it's obviously happened, so <laughs> it's happened, and I'm assuming it's happened during this, well it will have happened during this more active, wetter season. The sex of this species is determined generally the same as, similar to other tort species. Um, the males have a slightly concave plastron, which is the, the underneath part of their shell. Also the males have a slightly longer tail. The uh, cloaca, the, the opening on the tail, is slightly further along the tail. And also the males are slightly smaller, slightly smaller and a little bit sort of more oblong, sort of thinner. The females are a bit chunkier and quite noticeably bigger. And they have a completely flat plaster on them. This species only lay one egg at a time. They are relatively small tortoises. The adults are 10 centimetres at most. Um, so they lay one fairly large egg for the, for this, for the, for the size of the tortoise. It's a, probably about three centimetres long and a, maybe a couple of centimetres wide. So for a tortoise of you know, 10 centimetres, a three centimetre long egg is, is fairly large. This species is important to Paint and Zoo. Uh, we are the first registered UK zoo to, to breed them, um, which is obviously you know, brilliant for us. Um, but also for the species itself, you know, we can use the knowledge that we've um, gained from breeding a species to you know, pass that on to other institutions and other people and you know, conservation in the wild. To make the effort to do something like this and it, for it to, to work is, is you know, from a personal achievement, I'm, I'm chuffed to bits. Um, and for the LVI department it's great as well. You know. Unfortunately, um, this species is uh, critically endangered in the wild, um, mostly due to habitat loss and collection for um, food and for uh, the pet trade. But again, the information that we've gained from breeding the species and you know, maintaining the species in, in captivity all goes towards helping you know, the conservation of the species in the wild.